Have you always wanted to add vibrato to your vocal toolkit, but you haven't quite been able to figure out how to do it? Somewhere over the rainbow. Violin players do it a lot, right? That back and forth wiggly sound. Now, I could show you some exercises that you can do to work towards vibrato, but at the end of the day, I want you to remember a couple things. One, do not let anybody tell you vibrato is something that comes natural and you don't really have to try, it just happens to you. I do believe that some singers believe that, but they are lying to themselves and to you. It may have come easier for them, but it doesn't mean they're not doing it. My brain tells my vocal muscles, hey, that word would be really beautiful to put some vibrato on. And then I execute the plan that my brain made. So any singer that's using vibrato, I assure you, they are doing it. It's not happening to them. Next, I want you to remember that each singer, each artist has a different take on vibrato. It can be fast or slow, right? Ah, uh, ah, uh, and the depth is the other major factor. How big of a distance are we moving from the root note? Ah, uh, those are big waves. That's kind of a dated sound. We don't really, do. ah, some R&B music kind of does a take on that. That's a deep vibrato, deep waves. Ah, uh, and there are more shallow waves. Ah, uh, little baby waves. None are right, none are wrong. The genre kind of will guide us sometimes, as well as the decade, the time, the trends kind of determine what kind of vibrato we might want to use. That all being said, let's try, let's try an exercise. So first let's say, na 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 you. We're going to get rid of the na na's and we're going to just use a vowel. Now our vocal muscles are fully responsible for making those movements. You. Let's try it on E. Now I want you to see if you can be light. Let your attack on those fast notes at the top, let them be light. So instead of ah, uh, I want you to think ah, uh, light. Ah, uh, the, the lighter you are, and by light, I don't necessarily mean quiet. I just mean as you're making the note changes, as you're moving your muscles around to, to switch notes. Uh, I want you to do it as tenderly, as lightly as you can. The less aggressive muscle movements you're making, it stands to reason that you should be able to make them faster, right? Uh, let's maybe add an extra wave. Uh, like that. Uh, here's another key. Let's do it on ooh. Ooh, ah, like hat. Ah, eh, let's do eh. Eh. So you're starting to become familiar with that back and forth feeling. Could you simply try holding a pitch and playing with bending it back and forth? So if we choose ah, uh, could we say uh, let your finger help your voice. Our body is very connected that way. Sometimes it's really helpful. Uh, making it move faster and faster will take practice and it will take what we call agility, meaning, uh, the ability of, of muscles, whether it's these muscles or these muscles, to be able to move efficiently and quickly. You might be stuck with ah, uh, and that's fine. That's a fine place to start. Keep in mind that the only way to make it feel easier is to do it. So I know that it's not always the most pleasant sound. Ah. Uh, Gotta get used to choosing a static note 
and wiggling around on it. The other very important thing I'll leave you with is copy and steal. The singers that you love, listen to their vibrato. Try and copy them. Try and make the sound they're making. Try and figure out what it is they're doing with their muscles that you could copy and do with your muscles to make the same sound. That goes for anything, not just vibrato. Listen and repeat all of the things that you love. Ask yourself, how are they doing that? And experiment, try it on. Try the things with your body. To work towards vibrato is going to be an experiment. It's going to be letting go and figuring out how to be lighter and looser as you're moving back and forth on that static note. Good luck.